Hey boys, welcome back to some more Samoa International World Cup edition. And we progressed through to uh, the second round of the finals here. I was trying to <laughs> I was trying to find the like the comp and stuff. Um, I think that's saying they could try to fix up a little bit as we see here. Uh, the kangaroos obviously progressing and uh, England as well. As we look at our our league, we um thankfully it was the top three that went through. And there we have it. The Kiwis actually threw to the grand final, picking Australia at the post there. So, yeah, this is the uh, this is the big game, big big game. We first wait, yeah, we we first England, haven't we? No, I don't think we have first England, but um, yeah, we we started to pick up a bit of form. I feel like, you know, we were a little bit rusty to start with. Actually, I feel like our very first game of this comp was was pretty solid and then we had a bit of a lackluster one against Tonga and then since then we, we've picked it up picked up a bit so pretty much the same team I don't think there's any any real injuries or anything really to too noteworthy anyway with the the side it's it's a very strong team on paper that's for sure probably the halves is probably the only area of slight weakness but though you know Mason Lino very good young player, and also Ben Roberts, you know, some experience there, he's obviously not too young, but still, it's still a solid player, I'm assuming Ben Roberts still plays in, over in England, in the Super League, or maybe, I don't know, maybe he has retired, he, he's not, he's not super old, but he's been around for a long time, as Nofaluma here, good, uh, good start to the, uh, match for him, a couple of missed tackles, as a good little inside pass there, Josh McGuire getting it onto a case of Pritchard beating a tackler there. So it's a, a bit uh, a bit sloppy around the ruck for the England team, but uh, we're looking on uh, on fly here as we uh, spread it back left here. Ben Roberts onto Nofaluma gets driven back, just sort of fizzled out. It looked like something was was uh, going to happen there, but it just I don't know. The the defense was definitely outweighing the. Uh, the attack there, but what a ball by Cassiano onto Pritchard, he's had a, he's had a big game so far, Pritchard running the ball, we sort of don't want him to, though, we don't really have a backup on the bench for a dummy half, so we got to be a little careful, Mason Lino gets it back, and he's got to actually score a try, last play here, we go for a little, little grubber, bit of a miss kick, it didn't go as far as we wanted to, but then he picked it up, I tried to spread out wide, the big long pass to the winger, who was unmarked, and then it got ricocheted back, fell into our laps, and a a good try, so yeah, good start to the game, we've looked very, very attacking, the England team has done all the defense so far, and you know, that's exactly what you, you want, you know, tie them out, get their middle forwards feeling the pinch, you know, they, they got a strong team, um, on paper, I don't know, you might, I don't know, it's tough, like, obviously a lot of the England players are, are Super League players, so it's, it's it's hard to really compare them with, um, you know, NRL standard players, as Sam Burge is definitely an NRL standard player, straight through, it was pretty poor defense around the middle there, so we got to be a little, a little careful not to give up easy tries, and that's exactly what is going to happen, Josh Hodson, oh my goodness, I think it was Paulo offside, and then Ben Roberts, I was trying to get around the um, the man who played the ball to make the tackle, but he just, I don't know, he just would not, he wouldn't get in there and make the tackle or or just get in the way. And then Paula was offside and some uh, some tired defenders around the ruck. So that's that's poor, that's a poor uh, poor try to concede. As again, Pritchard, he's <laughs> he's playing like a running five eight at the moment. I don't know what's going on with the uh, positioning, but he's he's doing a good job. He is tiring himself out as big Cassiano just puts the big uh, big don't argue into the front line defense. As Mason Lino, good ball onto Mo uh, Moga, but again Redwell. So you know some some flimsy stuff early in the in the game here, but they've timed it up and it's a bit of a bit of a slog now is the uh, the wet weather but a great ball there Joey Leilua going for the corner good uh good shot there by I think is we're not playing at fullback I didn't really look at their team but I, I somewhat remember him playing at fullback as a crossfield kick it's gonna go dead in goal I was trying <laughs> the win was probably not in our favor to do that is Hodgson again uh seeing the mark is not square takes off thankfully Milford was able to uh to make the covering stop 
He was putting the little swerves on. It's always tricky, but we read it nicely. Is a big shot there coming in from Cassiano to stop the uh, stop the flow of offloads, which is causing us a little bit of a little bit of trouble. Uh, it's been a yeah, it's been a been a sort of topsy turvy first half. We were definitely on top first 20 minutes, and now the last 20, England have definitely fought back and and probably look the better as uh, the kick goes up and it's going to come off the crossbar and Ben West with the prop on the spot. Milford had no chance to catch it. He was well placed, but what could he do? Hits the crossbar straight into the lap of the English forward and he scores their second try. What a frustrating try to concede. Although, you know, that's one of those tries where I'm not actually frustrated. It's such a, it's a cool thing when it happens and you know, I'd rather it just happen for us, but it's still cool even if it is the opposition team as uh, Milford here goes for a little chip and chase. <laughs> he does brush through the tackle, Ryan Hall, uh, a little bit risky, but it was last play of the half. I thought, why not try something? So we're going to go in with a 12-6 to 6 deficit, which, um, yeah, I, it's sort of hard to pick if that's justified or not. Probably the last 20 minutes it is. Uh, there's a good kick there, and... Uh, Oh, no, it is Zach Hardacre, so obviously Widop is playing in the halves. I don't know where... I, I vaguely remember a game, like recently, where Widop was playing at fullback for England. I, I don't know, but it's a good ball out here. Ben Roberts trying to streak through, gets the offload away, but it's going to get knocked down. It was probably not on. Our winger was probably just, uh, you know, he's doing the right thing. He was hugging the wing, but it wasn't in a position to take an offload and... Uh, that was a big blue, that was a big blue, but a good play here. Joey Leilua trying to stand up. Hardacre gets tackled in a in a solid shot. So 12-6, don't need to panic. It's uh, it's sort of that stage of the game where you, you can look to, to panic a bit and you know try to throw it around a bit too much, but just try to play good field position. The errors from the opposition team will come, and also the line breaks. So we go for a last tackle run, and that, that's sort of what I'm talking about. Just, you know, probably should have put a bomb up, but that... I'm always a little bit torn because that's that sort of as a break here from Hall. Milford comes across, but uh, sort of the, like the 40 to 30 meter range. It's always tricky. I don't know what to kick because a punt they always take on the full, which is annoying. Is uh, a really good, a uh, really good line run from Ryan Hall, but Milford comes up with an absolute try saver. I had to look at this on uh, on replay. And it looks like he got it down. Well, we're going to have a look at a, at a close-up replay. Milford comes screaming across. He dives. And you wouldn't say it's on... It's touch and go. I mean, he, he's lost control of it for sure. But is it on the line before? I Probably. <laughs> they might have got a little hard done by there in the English team. They didn't go upstairs. So... Yeah, Milford, he's come up with a massive play and has kept us in the game. Is a br brilliant play there. Tata Mogi palms off one and <laughs> Zach Hardacre. He was expecting the pass or wasn't expecting the cover to get bumped off and he just overread the play. And Moga, the big fella, just goes straight through, scores a nice try. As we look back on the replay, no, we're not. We're going to skip over the replay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but <laughs> if you go back and watch, he sort of. The big palm, I mean, Mogu is a tough man to uh, stop one-on-one. -on -one. And Hardacre, he probably had a little bit too much trust in uh, in his covering defense. Probably should just, yeah, try to take the man with the ball. If we got the pass away, you know, not much you can really do about it. Is, uh, a an early kick? Is it, was that first? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I was like, why did we kick it on first? But I was trying to go for a 40-20 because the time is running down. We... You know, it was touch and go. It was either go for the 40-20 there or not go for it all and try to go for a, a free try. But it is going to go into extra time here. And they've thrown the ball straight back to us. So I say Sue off the bench takes the intercept. And England have given us a golden opportunity to uh, to win this game. Is uh, Pritchard, he's had a big one. He's getting a little fatigued going to play extra time here. As uh, Milford spreads it out to the right, just sort of setting up and... Uh, Maybe take one more play into the post here. Don't want to get too close. That was the thing. I don't want to get too close. So we're just sort of going across field. A little inside pass. I thought we could have almost scored there. Tagatizi gets held up. We're a little closer than I would like. But we're going to just um, 
Go for a little chip and chase. Not go for the field goal. We're going to score a try with Mason Lino. That's a, a, it was just too close. I could have potentially gone for the field goal, but it's just it's tough to get away when you're like a meter out from the line. And right here, I was confused because I thought the game was done. But it's not golden point, obviously. It's extra time. So getting the six points is actually huge for us because then it takes the one point out of the game is Hardacre breaks through of a couple of tacklers and England with a good chance to actually hit back in this in this first half gets the offload away Ben Westwood going for the line and he's gonna get there oh that's frustrating we we just gifted the possession back and and Westwood just barges his way over so Gareth Widop with a fairly simple conversion to bring us back level you know, should we be in that position? Probably not. We we probably should have been able to just sort of, you know, try to play it out. But we get the pass away there. I thought it was knocked down from the England side, but it doesn't matter regardless. We're going to go into the second stint of this extra time. As uh, I think I might have actually made a positional switch with Josh Maguire going a dummy half. We, uh, we pretty much had to do it. It's a good ball. Ben Roberts almost through. But uh, 18 apiece, probably this is a time where you would go for a field goal. Just look to go towards the post as a uh, good play, though. Good play, Joseph Paulo. Or was a junior Paulo. Takes, uh, takes a tackle in the middle of the field. Going back to Milford. No, Ben Roberts, in fact. He's going to slot the one-pointer. Surely, surely we can just sort of turtle it out from here and uh, just try to play smart footy as uh, we spread it across. A little bit risky as uh, Le Lua. Straight through, gets ankle tapped. <laughs> Massive stop there. He was almost away down the sideline, but uh, third tackle, couple of plays left. Just have to be steady here. Big uh, Paulo burst through again. Another ankle tap by Hardacre. He's come up with a few try savers in this match as uh, a little outside inside play. Ben Roberts now. Man, this is this is good footy. We score a try here and pretty much game set and match, and we'll find ourselves into the grand final. But you know. Stop there on last play. Can't be too disappointed with it as, uh, you know, we still got that one-point lead. Going for a little inside play. And <laughs> who was it? It was one of our forwards get absolutely met right there. And there's still time left in this game for England to snatch victory. I could not believe this. Joe Mellor bursting his way towards the line. Gets held up. Probably a couple more plays because the time is actually going pretty slowly here. 10 meters out. This is, this is do or die right now. And Scars broke. He's going towards the line. He's going to freaking get there. I couldn't believe it. We're going to lose on the stroke of extra time, full time. And, I, you know, I guess we shouldn't have gone for the inside ball. But it, I wasn't even worried because it wasn't a fullback or one of our small guys taking the run. It was, it was one of our forwards, one of our bench forwards. So I thought, you know, he's going to be able to take some contact. But he gets rocked. Loses the ball. I can't. <laughs> oh, I try to go for a short one. I, I don't even know if you can really get short ones in this game, but that's that's the ball game. 24 to 19. You know, it was a thriller. It definitely was a thriller, but man, oh man, we definitely shot ourselves in the foot there. We should have got the win. Should have been into the final against the Kiwis with a shot at redemption, but it's going to be England, New Zealand in the grand final. Oh, heartbreaking stuff. That was so annoying. I could not believe it. Hodson gets me in the match. Um, but overall, good uh, good tournament. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little, little mini-series. And I'll see you in the next one.